What what is more important, to match colors or brands? I don't like Under Armour shoes. But you like Under Armour Every, sweats? Everything else. Well, I don't really like these sweats either. But they match so well. I know they do. I, I like yeah. your shoes, but I don't think. Jason, verdict. Jason's matching. Jason, yeah, what are you wearing? This is all Jim Shark. Jim Shark top. Jim Shark sheer pants. Jim Shark at one point in time was talking about making shoes. They never did. I am wearing my new Jim Shark Steve Cook line. Has your name on. I know, so I don't lose it. I'm like, hey, you stole my you stole my shirt. Give me my shirt back. I'm telling my mom. <laughs> All right, Adam, I never want to see that again. All right. So today, we have Chase in town. Chase is a member of Fitness Culture, the app. Not the gym, because he doesn't live here. But he's actually doing, I think, the same program as I am, which is the Swole program. Which means it's back and biceps. Which means, cheers, pre-workouts. Let's go lift. It's going to be an intense back day, because the camera's on me. I get somebody lifting with me. Oh shoot, I don't want to answer it. It's my sister, I forgot to do what she asked me to. Oops, let's go work out before she calls me. Hey, I found my camera! What, you ready? Warm up, warm up, warm up. We got pull-ups, been over rows, supine lat grip pull down, seated row machine, single arm. We got wide grip lat pull, Pull down and then straight arm pull over. And then we got some biceps. Gosh, I love this day. It's like my, one of my favorite days. Oh my gosh. Every day is forearm day. <laughs> Beatboxing. Beatboxing all you're doing? Hey. Real talk though, I was getting ready today, and this is from my Gymshark line, but I always hate just wearing like sweatshirt material, so I have this, yo, if you guys know where this is from, you're a real OG, if you know where I wore this last. The last video I wore this, big man on campus days. Oh, Kevlar vest, compliments of XD. We got pull ups right now, 10 reps. <sighs> 40 pound weight vest now. Good. Down a little lower. There you go. Out of boy. Oh. The hardest thing to do in pull ups is to keep your elbows wide. When, when everything starts getting hard, you notice the first thing, natural tendency, have your elbows come in, working more, pulling with more biceps. It's natural, it's gonna happen. But mentally, when you first start, pretend you're forcing those elbows back as far as possible, engaging that lat. Jake's over there. Jake just looked at us like, oh, I wish I was training with them. All the way down. You can stretch now. There you go. Come on. So next up we got bent over barbell row. Biggest thing that I screw up with on these, I come up and then I, I pull into the weight so it's like this. Should be just nice static squeeze, pulling right into that navel area. So back, squeeze for a half count, back down to the ground. 10, 8, 6, I'm gonna go as heavy as possible on this. The first two things we do, mass builders. This bad boy right here, like if I'm gonna do one rowing movement, this one's gonna probably be it. I'd probably do it with a dumbbell, just cause you have a little bit more control over each arm. So this is one of my favorites off the ground. Jake just broke the world left the world record for deadlifts. That's 1,200 pounds. Neutral grip on the hammer strength here. You got long arms, so that seat's, that, yeah, that's perfect. Good. Good. Is that light? 
Good, good, good stretch now, that's the biggest thing. That's, the, that's your biggest thing. All the way, no, all the way up. There we go. Good. And then that scapula, set that scapula. There you go, right there. That's what I'm talking about. All the way up. I want you to get a stretch in it. There you go. When I start on this, I'll, I'll have to reset it each time. I don't, I don't, I'm not like here. I don't keep it there. I'll, I'll come to this forward position and then each time try to all the way out. Squeeze. Squeeze. Good. Fight it on the way back this time. Don't let it just come back. Squeeze. Sure. No control. There you go. Good. Good set, man. Hey. Man, I need some more of that pre-workout I took when I maxed on that bench. That stuff, like, I honestly felt like I was on that limitless drug. Down and back, and I think you're a lat. Try to squeeze that lat. Better, better. Most of you guys are gonna think about, I'm gonna talk about, oh, the way it pulls, or I'm able to really focus in on this muscle. No, it's being able to look at that wall over there and reading everyone's stuff. Johnny Bravo, Texas to Utah, USU. I mean, we get a lot of people because St. George is on kind of a, a main highway to California, to Vegas. So we get a lot of people from all over the US. So if you guys come into the gym, make sure you leave a comment where you're from and say something funny. Courtney doesn't know this, but I actually, I left this comment. Want to really boost morale. These are all just me writing, Courtney, I love, no, they're not. What I want to do though, is I want to see if Courtney watches this video. I'm gonna put up here like, oh, Courtney King has the best booty ever. And see if she's like, Steve. Cause when she comes into the gym, we should show it to her. But babe, people love the booty goals. We gotta make it kind of look girly. Oh man, that C is awful. <laughs> we'll do this. <laughs> I just, I just, I just, that's so bad. Tomorrow, after this get video goes live, I'm gonna show her this to see if she watches my videos. So when I do these, yeah, crack the knees, um, get a good stretch, there you go. Elbows, start, I start elbows between my, yeah, my ears between the elbows, good, and then as you pull down, chest comes high. There you, perfect. That's it right there. Get more of a squat position, like there you go. And then come, there you go, good. Cause that's that stretch right there. Yeah. It's almost like a yoga downward dog. Yeah. And then, and what I mean by that, it's like downward dog. You're like here, you see how my elbows, or my, my ears are between my elbows? That's almost the same position as here. That's that stretch. Bodybuilding is really just about angles. It's about being in the right angle to put the most tension on a particular muscle. And I re didn't really realize this until I worked out with Charles Glass, and he's just doing all sorts of things with angles. And he was an engineer at the University of California. That's why he's got such a great, like it makes sense to him. Oh, from this angle, we're using this to pull with this lever. Shout out, Charles, you're the man. You aren't gonna do the Running Man while the Running Man song's no, on? No, I refuse. I was, seriously, I was like, this song's on, I've done the, it's not gonna happen, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. First Arnold I haven't been to in seven years. So, I'm gonna miss, Ar Arnold's probably gonna give me a call and be like, Steve, I missed you this weekend, I see you every, it's okay, if you wanna to come to the Gymshark pop-up, I'll be in Melbourne a week before you have your thing there. So I'm having my thing there, you're having, you know, it's like two enormously successful fitness. No, he is, not me. So, Arnold, come to the Gymshark pop-up if you're there. Our stuff will fit you, I promise. It's made for bigger guys. Zodman curls with fat grips are just about the hardest thing to do. So we got last superset here. Cable easy bar. Cable easy bar concentration curl. Now I used to do these back in high school when every day was arm day. Elbows go on top of the knees, kind of lean back a little bit, and we're just squeezing here. If your gym has a, uh, a lot of gyms has machines, they have the pad underneath here, it's just the same thing. 
Oh. Ah. So that is a wrap on our swole program, back and biceps. How long have you been on the swole program? Almost a year now. You been on the swole or just on the Well, on, no, on the I, started, I started lean. I did lean probably for six or eight months. That's what you started out with was lean. Yeah. I mean, so, swole I've been doing since the new since app. Since January-ish. Yeah. So Chase, you're from Virginia. Yep. You're a new dad, like yep. within the last year. Yep. And I guess what, what, he's got a really cool story. I'm gonna let you tell it rather than just talking the entire time. But <laughs> you, you started like, a, what was it? About a year ago on the lean program. Yeah. And you lost how much? So in total last year I lost 80 pounds in seven months. That's insane. And you know, the biggest thing for me is I've always been someone that lifted, but just really focusing on the diet. My and diet so stuff. like, when I saw the description for the lean program, saw that you were offering programming that wasn't just, you know, a workout, but yeah. it was also going to bring in, you know, the nutrition and I mean, having like the personal coaching and all that. I was like, you know, that's a perfect option. So were you tracking calories at all before this? Just before. So I had, okay. I had gotten into it just like at the beginning of the year, started the program like in March. Gotcha. So, um, but what I wanted was just more guidance on like, okay, the, here's some, here's a solid macro plan to gotcha. follow. Gotcha. And so with that, I want to say I was close to, close to like 3000 at that time. Yep. Yep. Um, but still cutting. Yeah. And, so and you, I was, and I did jump into the you carb were starving cycle. yourself. I no, know. Yeah, no. And that's, I think what a lot of people think is I got to starve myself. No. And By the time I, I got down to 2000, um, and that was when I was really like, cause I was gunning, I was trying to get to single percent body fat at yeah. that time. And, and what, what body fat did you start out at? 32. Wow. That's so, intense. In a year. This was about six months into it. Yeah. So, or six or seven months into it. And, um, and then once I got under 2000, I was like, no, I'm, I'm done with this. So yeah. people that think that you need to do 1200 or 1500 yeah. can't sustain, especially not if you're following like a good weight program and you need the muscle to be able to burn right. that amount of fat. So and that's kind of what led you to now do the swole program. You yeah. kind of hit where you're at. So yeah. kind of tell me, how's it been? So you went from 270 to what was your lowest? I got down to 185. So almost a hundred pounds there. I've tried so many different diets that never worked. So I wasn't used to actually being in decent shape. I still had abs at the end of the year, but I was like, oh, it's January. Like yeah. I got to cut now. Yeah. And so I started cutting again, but now I'm like, no, I don't need to do that right, right now. Like I can, I can actually stay in to just try to put on some muscle now. Right. What was your big push? I think to yeah. do that. Well, having, having the baby, I had a son and that just instantly just like changed my whole outlook because I'm like everything that I do, he's going to see and he's going to, he's going to try to emulate. And so, you know, you've been talking about creating habits yeah, and creating habits for yourself. Well, I'm, I'm trying to create habits that he sees and he does see them. Yeah. And, um, you I've know, never like even he thought watches about that. everything that I do. And, and as I've watched him grow and see like what he picks up on, I mean, I know that he's paying attention to me. Right. And so I wanted to, you know, make sure that I was taking care of myself and, and setting the best example possible for him. Doing it for yourself is one thing, but doing yeah. it for someone you love probably puts a whole new spin I mean, on things. Any parent will tell you, like, your kids will show you your flaws and your weak yeah. areas. I do want to gain size. I want to get stronger. Um, that was one thing, you know, losing that much, I probably lost a good 20 to 30 pounds of, of muscle. lean mass in yeah. that. And I lost so much strength. Yeah. And so... You know, now I just want to focus on trying to get the numbers up without performance. You know, I, I don't. I don't need to. I don't need to go crazy in bulk, but just start adding back yep. in calories and really try to just maintain my metabolism and get stronger. And you know, if I could get up to like 200 or something, that'd be probably a comfortable spot for me. And I tell people this all the time. You look at you know some of the greatest bodybuilders. Like the power program that what we do is a great like basic, once you're strong, then you can worry about getting big. So mm -hmm. like, I think kids growing up, the worst thing that they can do is jump into like a IFBB pro bodybuilder split. Yeah. This is not what you need to be doing. If you're growing, focus on compound lifts, focus on conditioning, very similar to our power or the athlete program. And then if you want to truly do more hypertrophy, then you can do yeah. the swole program. Um, I tell that to people all the time, focus on. So I think that'd be a great place for you to get back to eventually is that power program. Yep. Um, well, sweet man. It's good to have you in here. You're yeah, in, man, you're in you were in Vegas for a conference. Yep, for our industry show. But it's only a couple hour drive, so anyone that's in Vegas should come up here and come up and roll. Check roll to, out roll fit to fitness cult. culture.
Sweet, man. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. it.